Do you ever feel like you're just being watched? <laughs> For anybody who's wondering what that noise is, that's, yeah. a, that's Jared's teenage daughter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking leaving. God. Jesus. You're leaving Jesus? What does that mean? You're breaking up with him? Speaking of uh, miraculous births, have you seen Jurassic Park World Dominion? (laughs) Unfortunately, I have. (laughs) I even said that wrong. What What is it called? It's called Jurassic Park World Dominion. All right, let's start the podcast. No, no, (laughs) wrong. I do have some information for you. Sure. Um, but go ahead and fill some time while I look it up. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so I just want to go through the list of Got people we've okay, talked to. Okay, so here's what's going on. So this movie, Some Interesting Facts, was made during COVID. So they had to make it during the bubble. Okay, you know the bubble during COVID? Yes. Okay, COVID-19. Perfect. Now, have you heard of that? Oh, God, yes. Okay. Yeah. You have? Yeah. Because when I read this... Do you yes- remember when, when it's I- called the coronavirus? No, because when I read this yesterday, it yeah. was the first time I heard about COVID-19. Oh, well. So I'm reading this on the internet. <laughs> And I watched a movie a while ago called The Bubble, and it's on Netflix, starring David Duchovny and a bunch of other people I don't know. The Directed by of. Judd Apatow, right? Directed by Judd uh, Apatow. It was essentially just like a feature-length TikTok Let video? T- no, it was not. Let me tell you what it was. Jurassic World, World Dominion, was filmed during COVID. They lived together for five months in a hotel. Then they would go and they'd make this movie and then they all stay in their bubble at the hotel and you couldn't get sick. And if you get sick, production stopped, everyone gets separated, da 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 That is the plot of The Bubble on Netflix starring David Duchovny, Pedro Pascal, Keeg Michael Key, uh, Leslie Mann. Okay, so they're all in that movie living in a bubble at a hotel going out to set to film a fucking dinosaur movie. The fake movie that they are making in the bubble was a hundred times more entertaining than the fucking Jurassic World World Dominion. And the bubble is based off of a true story. (laughs) So moving on, I just want to talk about a couple other things here. Right now, my top suspect to go to jail for this dog shit movie Mm -hmm. is... Emily Carmichael right now for really? the way it was written. Random shit yes. thrown into the script yes. as these dumbass characters. Who are your dumbass characters? Okay, first one is, now, I don't know if you recognize this, but the main bad guy of this movie is Lewis Dodson, was from the original Jurassic Park. Oh, my and God. And he's the one who unscrewed that shaving cream thing, and then you put in the dino DNA for all, like, you know, the Velociraptor, the T-Rex, and stuff like that, and that's the one where, like, Wayne Knight, remember that? Actor, yeah, yeah he took Seinfeld. it and they got eaten by the Newman. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Hello, the Newman. guy in hat when he was like, "This is Dotson. We got Dotson here." That character in the Jurassic Park universe is actually the main antagonist of this movie. Did you know that? My God, it's Emily Carmichael and fucking yoga. Yeah, this bitch can stretch. That's why this that's ca- fucking stupid. That's why this character he had that shaving cream canister. Uh, another thing you'll probably recognize that the actor was not the original actor. So. Uh, Campbell Scott replaced Cameron Thor, who was the original Lewis Dotson. Why? Because Cameron Thor is a convicted sex offender. <laughs> <laughs> so we are throwing somebody in jail for this mess. Yes. I'm nervous because what's the studio that does this? Universal? Yeah. That makes me scared. They got money. They got uh, universal money. They do got universal money. They're going to come money. after the precinct, but you know what? We're cops, yeah, and we're going to do our job. Got to put some money away for this. No one from Universal has reached out to bribe us not to. And <laughs> until then, people will go to jail. Well, and then the other most dumbass character. Oh, I want to hear it. Part of this movie yes. was Maisie Lockwood. She literally has zero empathy about how her decisions will affect others in this world. You can say that because you you are yeah. a psychologist as well. Perfect. You graduated. Well, I got to... Uh, uh, psychoanalyze. Uh, yeah, psychoanalyze. You do that. Perfect. As a gumshoe, I got to right. sacla- psychoanalyze. Yeah. yeah. No, you nailed it. Psychoanalyze. I got to analyze those sacks, baby. <laughs> okay, so back to this. God. Macy Lockwood. Maisie. Yeah, perfect. She <laughs> was- <laughs> and did you love this about her? She was born of immaculate birth. What do you mean, Jared? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. The traditional way? What do you mean? Yeah. So they didn't. she didn't need a mother and a father. She just needed herself oh, to... Oh, the stork didn't bring her. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that what you're hung up on? What? You're, okay, well, yeah. Well, either the stork brings a, her or the stork no. doesn't. Okay, so the stork, stork comes to the house and brings little baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. this one, yep. there was no stork involved. Oh, okay? it was pterodactyl. It was just herself yeah and she decided i'm going to do some scientific research okay and i'm going to then inseminate 
myself and give birth to my perfected self in an immaculate conception. So there is no stork. No. Okay. <laughs> cool. Just checking. And I wanted to say, like, what the fuck kind of character's message is she trying to tell us? She's saying that eugenics is cool. Oh, perfect. That's Eugen- all I wanted to talk yeah, about. She's there. saying eugenics is really badass. Okay, now let's talk about this. Composer, Michael Giancino. I didn't notice the music. Yeah. So what does that tell you? Check out what the composer has done in the past. Oh, the Star Trek movies. Planet of the Apes. Which one? Uh, all of the new ones. Yeesh. And he also did, uh, works with Taika Waititi a lot. Oh, yeah. 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 He works with Tata Titties a lot. <laughs> That was so, my failed uh, Hooters I, restaurant. I also view that <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jurassic Park like I do Planet of the Apes. I don't care about the franchise. I don't care. I completely agree. I yeah. Uh, I would rather watch Memory than watch this movie again. <laughs> yeah. This movie was fuck. Who? If you had to pick one main character in the original Jurassic Park, who is that? I'd probably say T- the Trinosaurus Rex. You fucking dunce. <laughs> Alan Grant is the number one character in the yeah. fucking... The movie opens with him threatening a child's life. Yeah, Sam Neill, right? He is such a fucking old dementia man in this movie. Yeah. He, if, if anyone is walking, he's in the back. He's like, where are we going? What's next? Yeah. This so, is not well, how you bring in characters. And I, and Top I Gun feel Maverick, like, yeah. masterpiece. Oh, Complete yeah. opposite this dog shit. It's like, yeah. well, let's bring in a character that was a pretty big part in the franchise and just have him wander in the background. Jeff Goldblum... He, did, he didn't feel like the original character. And I understand characters develop and characters grow. It didn't no, feel like he's him a caricature of himself. Oh, that's it what I wanted to bring nice. up. Thank you for bringing that up. You're Hilariously welcome. enough, that they had to put them in their original costume when they introduced them. When we were watching it, and uh, what's the lady's name? <gasps> Ellie uh, Sattler. When she, Ellie Sattler, yes. came into screen, you were just like, of course, we don't know who she is, so you got to put her in the same outfit. <laughs> I started laughing so hard. It's so, And Ellie Sattler... I loved her in the first one. Right. Because it was like, oh, she's smart. Mm -hmm. She knows what's going on. Everything she's saying, I'm just like, yeah, that makes sense. Her reactions were fucking... This one, she was so fucking annoying. Every franchise is getting the Fast and the Furious treatment. So Fuck, I man. wanted to also give an ode to the original composer, too, John Williams. Yes, everyone knows. Steven Spielberg said it best. Without John Williams, bikes don't fly, nor do men in red capes, and there is no force, or dinosaurs do not walk the earth. We do not wonder, we do not weep, we do not believe. Without John Williams. Man, is John Williams still living? Yeah, he's 90 years old. Wow, is he going to... What's the last movie he's composed? I don't oh, want to say it. Why? It's a triggering word for you. What is it? Tell Obi-Wan me. Kenobi. What a fucking joke. <laughs> All right. That is such a disgrace. And they... Sh- Ooh. All right, I'm the numbers guy. Do you want to do the uh, I love numbers, numbers. Jurassic I World. I feel like we're ending this too soon. So Jurassic <laughs> World in 2015. Now, that was a budget of $150 million. Worldwide, it made $1.6 billion. Oh, my God. That is just so irritating. Yeah. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom 2018 costs $170 million. Worldwide, $1.3 billion. All right. So then Jurassic World Dominion in 2022 <laughs> has a budget of $185 million and is already at $405 million. Now, this is what how they all opened. Jurassic World, it opened up at $208 million. Fallen Kingdom opened up at $148 million. And Jurassic Dominion opened up at $145 million. I think it's still going strong, and probably <sighs> in the next couple of years, another we're going to get another a fourth Jurassic installment. Park. Why what not? Would, what That's would leaving money on the table. What would it be called? Jurassic World in Space. Oh, Owned God. by Universal. That's a movie I would watch. So fucking Fast and the it Furious. It might as Jurassic well go Park, that direction. Meet up, have Dom fucking yep. one punch a T Rex. Yeah. Uh, I'm telling you, that's yes. the movie that they need to make. I, and then you find out Dom was made in a lab. <laughs> Who immaculately gave what, birth Don, to why himself? You, why are you so good at driving? And then it I was, was like, born in a driving lab. No, here's would be the big fuck you to Dominic Herrera or whatever his name is. His name is Dominic Toronto. Oh, perfect. <laughs> He's from Canada. Well, it would be super <laughs> funny if like uh, Vin Diesel's character like uh, gives an immaculate birth to himself and out pops Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Holy shit! He's like, I'm so the cool. genetic superior to you. Ay ay ay. Okay, Jay Bear. Yeah. Tell me, who are we throwing in jail for this absolutely 
this feature length dumpster fire. I agree. I know. I want to throw. Okay, it's between these two people. Yes, Mark Sanger, the editor, because the editing was just atrocious. It it's was terrible. Dog shit. Didn't make any sense at all. And as an editor, they we, should also be more responsible for the pacing and the flow of this movie. The cinematographer at all? The cinematographer, he was really good. I felt like a What's lot of his shots we his were name? all great. Yeah, it was John Schwartzman, the interesting guy who's related to uh, Talia Shire. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's right. Who played uh, yeah. so Risk the cinematographer, with, We okay. enjoyed the cinematography. I thought it was beautiful. Okay, it was yes. great. But they always are. Right. All these movies are shot right. really, really well. well. They're okay. eye candy. Right. They're mostly just visual. Right. But unfortunately, and, they're not also visual guess, storytelling. You know what? And I guess that's where we have to throw Emily Carmichael in jail because... Yeah. Oh, it's a popcorn flick. You just enjoy it. And it's so disgusting that you can mess that up. Yeah. You have a movie with guns and dinosaurs. It really felt like this movie was being, like, I felt like I was watching a kid play with their toys. Oh, my God. That's You're all it felt like. absolutely right. It just felt like that. It's like, especially right. at the very end with the Tyrannosaurus Rex, like, fought the other dinosaurs. Right. It was like, of course, that happens at the very right. end. Right, it happens in all, it happens and then they're in like, all the, and all the, World. I can imagine the kid also being like, Oh, Ugh. Owen's like not that way. He needs to be an action hero. He needs yes. to jump around this stuff. And then yeah. like, just wait. Cause now you're going to see in Comic Con a fucking sick rash of everyone being Owen with a little raptor on their back. Oh, yeah. And or about the like, cool new pilot girl. Yeah, oh, my God. The, the pilot girl, okay. she was so jammed in here, so uninteresting. And everything she did, Owen could have done. We don't need you. Or Owen's friend, the French guy uh, who's part of the CIA. Oh, yeah. He could have done it. Why do we need... Here's the thing. French guy could have been there. Take out the pilot chick. She doesn't even make sense how she's introduced. Yeah. She fucking sees uh, a girl Cunningham's taken. Da daughter. Yeah. And she goes, you shouldn't be here. Leave. Richie Cunningham's daughter goes, oh, oh shit. You're American. Help me. Help me. You're American. Help me. Help me. Help me. I'm like, this is such piss poor fucking writing. Here's what should have been. And I'm going to rewrite this fucking Harvard educated dog shit script. Here's just a little snippet okay. of what's going on in my little dunce brain. Yeah. We have Owen's uh, friend, the French guy who's part of the CIA now, and he's helping like take down dinosaur dealers or whatever. Yeah. He's there. He's doing all the dealing and wheeling. He's undercover and he's in there. He sees Owen or Richie Cunningham's daughter and goes, hey, you shouldn't be. You have the same fucking lines. You shouldn't be here. Oh geez, here I'm gonna give you. I a feel little... like that guy would also have more of an understanding of who she is. Yes, the girl is too. Exactly. And you then... shouldn't be here. This is a bad place. Frenchie's face it makes an expression that goes, "Oh geez," because now he knows shit's about to get wild. And then things go wild. Then Frenchie makes a beautiful connection. Frenchie's like, "Let's go. I'll fly the plane." Brrr, flies the plane. Frenchie could fly planes. He owns a plane. He flies them to the part in Italy. Plane crash. We think Owen's dead. Frenchie pulls him out, saves him. Owen's alive. They keep trucking. We build a relationship with Frenchie. We like Frenchie. Yeah. Frenchie then dies. Uh. That would have been so much more entertaining. Yeah. That would have. You don't need Ellie Saller or Alan whatever. No, this or was just Jeff a, Gold. You don't yeah. need that. This Frenchie is just dies. a cartoon, and it's written poorly. Oh my god! And it's, yes. It's, it's bad. So. Emily Carmichael, you're going oh, to in. jail. Yep. And Alex Garland is free to go. Oh, I'll drop him off. Oh, perfect. Oh, no, yeah, bring him in my car. Oh. Throw him in my squad car. Okay. I'll, yeah, I'll make sure he gets this home. This is kind of a change of... No, I do it all. Oh, uh, no, it's just... No, I, I, you've never done this before. You've let never me, dropped Let me take anybody. care of it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I'll I'll make sure he gets home nice and right. safe. Yeah? Bring him in my squad Wait, car. Do you... He lives far away. I. You know what? This Don't could mind. be like a road trip. Oh. Are you sure you want to do that? Yeah. Gas prices are expensive. I'm sure I'll be back in 20 minutes or less. Throw him, just throw, throw him in the fucking car, dude. Throw him in the car. Are you going to... No. Oh, um, <laughs> cut that. <laughs>